Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with... TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Jonas, you're the man on the sticks. I have a stick. And we're playing Madden 20. The 20th edition. The Dolphamite Saga. The Saga Mites of the Dolphin The Dons. Saga Mites. Jonas, that's great. I'm using that one next video. All right, cool. If I remember. And we won't. <laughs> I never remember anything five minutes from now. <laughs> I barely remember my name and or yours. <laughs> we didn't have a sign hanging on the TV. I'd forget it. <laughs> I'm uh, Jan Janice <laughs> Joplin. No. Yeah, Janice and Boomstick. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to well, welcome to Insane City Gaming. I'm Janice. And this is Boomstick. <laughs> Insane City. I like that. Should we change the name to Insane, Insane City? City Media? I like that. City. That sounds great, actually. When, uh, when, the, when the guys who sing Butterfly come after us, we'll, we'll change over to Insane They City. might. They might. They you might. liked one of my Instagram posts one time. Oh, uh, the guy from Crazy Town? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Maybe he's cool with it. That is, uh, his name is Shifty Shellshock. <laughs> I don't think that's real. I'm dead serious. His name is Shifty. But I don't think that's, I think that's what he goes by. Just, I mean, what? <laughs> just, I don't think it's his real name. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're right then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, what's your name, Shifty? My name's Shifty. <laughs> Mr. Shellshock to you. Shellshock, yes. Yeah, dude. Uh, what? Uh, when was the last time you were in a YMCA? <laughs> I uh, I guess last time I was in YMCA was when I lived in New York. Hooper. <laughs> Did it, dude. Already. I know. I was in New York City and... New York City? No, not New York City. I guess New York State, I should say. Right, right, right. A and, city uh, in... And my girlfriend at the time, her son was going to, like, YMCA after school thing. Okay. But I've never, like, been to a YMCA. They got, like, all kinds of stuff in there, right? Yeah, when I was, uh, I don't know, like in junior high, my mom got me a membership and she used to take me and drop me off. And I play basketball, and play racquetball, and go swim, and do weight stuff. And in the Ashtabula YMCA. Yeah, dude, she would just drop me off to get me out of the house. Uh, what? You want to hear this jank way of how I, how I got home? The, not public transportation, because that doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> so this was like before cell phones oh and they had pay phones in the uh in the y yeah. so what i would do is i would call her collect and when it said you have a call from i'd be like you can come get me and then you could they would hear them answer and then it would be like you have a call from you can come get me now and they'd be like be there in 15 and then they'd hang up so we didn't so like i could call them uh, tell them i was ready to come home and they didn't have to accept the collect call and they knew i was ready wow i came up with that on my own as a 13 year old boy my mom was impressed collect calls <laughs> i collect called her wow and didn't even have to make her pay from a pay phone from a pay phone, <laughs> a pay phone. Yeah. can you imagine dude can you imagine different then man a pay phone Phone. You had to pay a quarter. You had to pay to use the phone on the street. You had to pay. It was just a regular phone. Anybody could walk up and use it. At a filthy booth that everybody utilized. Oh, and licked and coughed and peed on, dude. It was disgusting. I remember seeing an advertisement for like uh, little receiver covers that you could put on the mouthpiece of it. Like phone condoms. Yeah, it was like you just you know you just keep it in your pocket and it's like just like a little plastic. Or like rubber disc, and you would just like fit yeah, it dude, over. Yeah, it was like a phone condom. But who would carry that in their pocket? Somebody who uses the payphone a lot. <laughs> how, you, how many times you use the payphone? Back in the day, like, people use them all the time. They use payphone like once a day, if like on a good week. Once a day, that's a lot. Oh yeah, on a good week. But I don't yeah, need dude. to carry well, phone I used to have condoms, a pager, man. So like people oh, would page geez. me, and I'd stop at a payphone and call them real quick. Pagers. Jeez. Because I'm pagers. Cool. Yeah, dude. You have a pager? Absolutely not. You never had one? I had one of those. You remember, like, when they had bubble tape and they had to, like, the pager bubble gum that was the same thing? It was like a bubble pager. Oh, yeah. It was just, like, gum. 
inside in a, a pager in, case. Yeah, inside of like a plastic neon green pager case. And I thought it was cool as a kid because I could just like slap it on my belt. And I'd be like, hey, you want some gum? And I could just like flip the top and get people. Absolutely. Yeah, everybody thought you were cool. <laughs> and I was like, dude, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a black magic marker. I'm going to paint like a pager. I'm going to take it to school. So that the teachers would be like, hey, you can't have pagers in school. They'll be like, you want some gum? <laughs> <laughs> That's it, teacher. I showed you how stupid you are. There you go, Mrs. Roman. Now you got, <laughs> you got gum smack. <laughs> yeah, thought I had a pager. <laughs> it didn't say it. I didn't say it. I thought you did. No, I came close. All right. <laughs> it's funny because, like, uh, I do know some kids in school that definitely just did stuff to piss off teachers. Oh, yeah, dude. Absolutely. I was always, like, nice to teachers. I didn't, like, uh, I didn't, like uh, do anything on purpose. To mess with them. I would always show off. <laughs> I would always be the guy who raised his hand. Not in math class, though. F that ish. Be like, Mr. Johnson? Yeah. I think the way you explained that was very nice. And it made it very Were you that guy? Were you that guy? Oh, yeah. no, dude. I was the guy who always no raised my hand. Because I always did. That's how smart. <laughs> <laughs> and I actually, like, paid attention and, like, participated in class. Nah, fam. I used to make teachers laugh sometimes. Yeah, dude. Uh, there was a kid in my Spanish class, and the Spanish teacher drug him out of the room in his desk into the hallway. She, he made her so mad. Is that random, Mackey? No, that's... That, I'll tell you something. I went to Spanish class with him, too. For some no, reason. no. Oh. There was another... There was another uh, this is his younger brother, I guess. No, no, no. Uh, this, yeah, he like he like made her so mad she like literally grabbed his desk and drug it. In. He was in it. Was she, that, in, and she drug him into the hallway. Was that Miss Rose? Yeah. <laughs> she was the one to do it, dude. She was a firecracker, she bro. She was. She did not play. She had little man syndrome, little woman syndrome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I could see her doing that. She loved she loved me and uh, my best friend. We we asked her if we gave her a bunch of like kind of swear swearish phrases in yeah. Spanish, and she like she told us she wrote them all down for us how to say them, but not like swear words, but like stuff like "May you be mounted by a rabid dog" and stuff like what that. The hell? And she would. And she told us she was, so we could see stuff yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, she was very cool. She knows us. that's the stuff you want to know too. Right? It was like it wasn't like f you. What was, was what was your Spanish name in her class? Because she I know she Guido Guido because guy in Spanish. <laughs> I was like, I want to be Guido. Mine was a Francisco. Francisco. Ooh. Ooh. I wish my real name was Francisco. Dude, I should have just picked Francisco instead of Ramon, though. <laughs> yes, that would have been way more inconspicuous. I'm Francisco. That would have been like... That would be like, yeah. <laughs> oh, whatever, Tyrone. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Just get offensive with it. <laughs> I literally could have went with Tyrone. They probably would have believed it. I bet you would have. It would have been fine. Like, I could just start introducing myself to everybody as Tyrone. And be like, oh, okay, Tyrone. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> They'll be like, racist. <laughs> How dare you believe in How dare you? real. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, so we're just all named Tyrone now. <laughs> They're like, you, you told me your name was... Yes, hello, I'm Tyrone. This is my son, Tyrone, and my wife, Tyrone. <laughs> That's what you assume we're called anyway. Yeah, <laughs> this is my dog, Tyrone, so you can't get it wrong. <laughs> Tyrone is an awful name. <laughs> With all due respect. <laughs> Unless your name is Tyrone, then I'm sure it's a wonderful name, you know, long lineage. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but I can't name one famous Tyrone. Tyrone. Yeah, exactly. I was going to say. Yeah, Woods. Is that what you are going to say? No, wait, hold on. Oh, no, no, yeah, Tyrone Jackson. Tyrese. What's <laughs> <laughs> name named Tyrone? There was Tyrone Jordan. Ty Tyrone uh, James. Ty oh! <laughs> No, he's a pretty good Tyrone. Well, we <laughs> Everybody, crackhead. I, I mean, it, it, it goes with what you're saying. There's no good Tyrone. 
about me, but the character's pretty funny. Oh, yeah, I would definitely. That, I'd say that's a very big guy character. Yeah, dude. I like it a lot. Yeah, you would. Yeah, dude, I like crackheads. <laughs> yeah, you would. Big fan of crackheads. <laughs> got a really good analogy involving crack about me the other day. I wonder how deep, like, if there's, like, a crack fetish. Like, uh, I kind of said that wrong, but I was wondering. Oh, look at that move. Did you see him? That is like a grease lightning. He's a tiny man. He's an oil daddy. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I wonder if there's like a crack fetish where people like to like, I don't know. Smoke crack and have sex? Uh, I mean, I'm sure that's what crackheads do. People that smoke everything smoke it and then have sex. Yeah, but I don't think like they're thinking like, oh yeah, you may have a point there actually. <laughs> right? You may have a people point People who smoke there. weed are like, let's smoke weed and have sex. People who do coke are like, let's do coke and have sex. I don't know if I like to, if I would like to do drugs and then like, because I like focus, man. Yeah, I feel you. Yeah, dude. Was that what you do, Jonas? Oh, yeah, dude. Okay, you're a virgin. I forgot. Yeah, dude. I've I never forgot. had sex before. Yeah, oh. kid, you should wait till marriage, and that's what me and Jonas are doing. Yeah, I was already married and didn't know. Yeah. Knew that it made yeah. Out. <laughs> and it, it didn't. Did. Yeah. So good job. Yeah, I, wait, I had sex. I waited all those years because I thought maybe this won't work. Yeah. It didn't. And I was like, good thing I didn't have sex. I didn't want to ruin my virginity. Yeah. You don't want to have sex until at least five years into your relationship. <laughs> five <laughs> years. I'm just saying. You got to make sure. How many five-year relationships have you had in your life? One. <laughs> I've had. And I hated three of it. I, I had. I've only had one too, yeah. Yeah. That long. Yeah. I don't know how much I hated. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't five and thought that much about it. Uh, yeah, three of them for me. Definitely. How many relationships have you had that have been over a year? Uh, maybe three or four, maybe, maybe three. Yeah. Yeah, I've had three. And that's the last count. one I have is like nine months, but that doesn't count. Yeah. yeah, and I'm kept five years. Yeah, 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 me too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. And honestly, I'm just at that point and right now where I'm just like, I don't know if I'm ready to put that type of... Yeah, like it, it sucks that I guess I'm conditioned now because I've had relationships and it just didn't work, man. I have a couple girlfriends. Well, see, that was the problem. Like, be open. That was no. Why don't you get into like open relationships with a girl, and then you can just have as many girlfriends as you want, and they don't matter. No, because then I catch feelings, man. I'm not heartless, man. I know I I love hard, you know. Uh, yeah, I feel you. But on the same note, like mm, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I will have to say that uh, back then, Jonas, uh, obviously to fulfill the stereotype, I was going through the, my whole sexual addiction thing, so I wasn't like faithful to any of them girls, and I will admit that a lot of the breakups that I've had in the past were because they went through my goddamn cell phone. Your life, dude. Yeah, yeah, man. It's, and you wonder Social why I media it. and cell phones ruin your life. Right? Brilliant. And I'm like, no, I'm not hiding the phone from you. I just got some really crazy porn on there, girl. And she's like, no, let me see. I'm like, well, okay. If you don't trust me, then our relationship is over. He's like, what is this? And you're like, I told you our relationship was over. <laughs> <laughs> I've definitely done that before. <laughs> I've definitely pulled that one before. What, if you don't trust me, our relationship's over? Yeah. And like, and yet you had something that you were hiding. Yeah. <laughs> well, end it. I'll just end it. <laughs> I would be the the vanguard of of reason, <laughs> rather than be the cheating boyfriend. All right. Like, look, if you don't trust me, this is over already. All right, we're done. We're done. You're like, all right, bye. Get your stuff. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah, so, I don't know. I've definitely had a problem. I'm, I th sometimes I wonder if I'm ready to commit Jonas and then, like... Then you think about it and you get anxiety. I remember really when I had anxiety. my last girlfriend. Yeah. And I would tell you anything about, like, oh, something about whatever. Some, like, if it was just some issue going on, you're like, hearing that story made me have anxiety. Yeah, that type of stuff does. Because, I don't know, man. I'm a definitely a different person than I was when I was uh, a prolific cheater. Um, if you want to call it cheating. If they ain't a ring on the finger, I don't consider it cheating, to be honest with you, all right? If you want to keep me as your boyfriend, you want me to keep, you want to keep me, uh, what do you call that, monogamous. Yeah. Do what it takes to do that. What's that? 
Be a freaking good girlfriend. Be a stand-up chick. Sure, man. Honestly, if you want to keep a person monogamous, give them a reason to. And that means you got to fulfill their sexual desires. That's a part of it. That's a part of marriage. It's a part of relationship building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a part of being a good girlfriend. That means, yeah, you can't have a headache today. <laughs> oh, you had a headache? Well, I got somebody on speed dial who don't have a headache. Wow. Good job, I hate you're, preaching you're, you're this. You're sitting real fire right I now. know, but I hate preaching this stuff, but I'm just like, look. If so why don't you find a girl who's willing to be your girlfriend, but yet you can do whatever you want. She can do whatever she wants, and you can whatever. So you have that commitment like someone you can count on, but you don't have to worry about cheating because it's not cheating. Oh, it ain't cheating because I ain't married. And my thing is, is that I don't necessarily want a girl who just does whatever she wants and do whatever I want. I feel like that should be implied. But the monogamy should be a part of it because both are willing parties to participate in the monogamy. But then we, you got to keep up, man. You got to keep up. Yeah, you know what happens? They get complacent. Exactly. And then they're like, you know what? I don't need to like do that anymore. And then you're like, well, exactly. that's why the part of the reason I like you. Yep. We have 773 passing hearts and negative six fresh Negative six. Nice. Uh, yeah, dude. Then they're like, oh, he won't mind if I don't do X, Y, Z. And then after like a while, I mind. Resentment. Yep. I yeah, mind. Wow, that was a deep episode. We start with a Y. <laughs> MCA, we start talking about cheap. That's what happens. All right, everybody. That is all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you've already done that. Just share it with everyone you know. Every grandma, every person, every person you cheated on your friends with. <laughs> and TNT Dynamite. We are